Imagine standing on a mountain that suddenly comes to life, spewing fire and smoke into the sky. Yes, we're talking about volcanoes. These majestic mountains that suddenly burst with energy, transforming into fountains of fire and ash are indeed fascinating. New videos every day. Subscribe to our channel. They're like the Earth's natural fireworks, only much, much bigger. But what sparks these dramatic displays? What's happening beneath the Earth's crust that leads to such an explosive event? But what causes these fiery explosions? Let's delve into the world of volcanoes to uncover the mystery. Volcanoes are not just mountains. They are powerful forces of nature formed in a fascinating way. So how exactly are these fiery giants created? Let's take a journey deep beneath the Earth's surface to uncover the secrets of their formation. Picture a jigsaw puzzle, a giant one that covers the entire surface of the Earth. These puzzle pieces are what we call tectonic plates. Now these plates are always on the move, although it's so slow we can't feel it. But over millions of years they can travel great distances. Sometimes these plates move apart, creating gaps. Other times they crash into each other, like two cars in a bumper car arena. When this happens, one plate is forced down into the hot molten layer beneath the Earth's crust, known as the mantle. This is a process called subduction. Now imagine a hot bubbling pot of soup on a stove. That's a bit like the Earth's mantle. It's a swirling, heated mixture of rock and metals. When the tectonic plate sinks into the mantle, it starts to melt due to the intense heat and pressure, creating magma. Remember when you try to hold a beach ball underwater? It always wants to pop back up, right? Well, magma behaves similarly. It's less dense than the surrounding rock, so it rises, pushing its way up through cracks and weaknesses in the Earth's crust. Over time, the magma accumulates near the surface, forming a magma chamber. The pressure builds until, kaboom, it forces its way out, creating a new volcano. The magma that reaches the surface is now called lava, and it builds up around the opening, forming the familiar cone shape we associate with volcanoes. So every volcano, from the towering Mount Fuji in Japan to the mighty Kilimanjaro in Africa, is the result of this incredible process. It's a testament to the dynamic, ever-changing nature of our planet. So now we know how volcanoes are formed, but what happens inside them? Let's keep exploring to find out more. Did you know, volcanoes are like a giant Earth's kitchen with a lot going on inside them? Picture this, a volcano is a bit like a layered cake each part playing its unique role in the grand spectacle of an eruption. At the very top, we have the crater, a bowl-shaped pit where the action happens. It's like the cherry on top of our volcanic cake, but it's not just a pretty decoration. It's the exit point for all the lava, ash, and gases that are about to make their grand entrance. Underneath the crater, there's the main vent, the highway for magma traveling from deep within the earth. It's a bit like a straw, but instead of sipping on a milkshake, it's channeling molten rock up to the surface. Now, let's delve deeper. Beneath the main vent is the magma chamber, the heart of the volcano. This is where our magma, a mix of molten or semi-molten rock, resides. It's like a soup, really, full of minerals and gases. When the pressure in the magma chamber increases, the magma needs to escape, and guess where it goes? That's right, up the main vent and out the crater. But what's this magma we're talking about? Well, imagine a very, very hot pot of tomato soup. It's red, it's liquid, and it's incredibly hot. That's magma for you. However, unlike your tomato soup, magma is a scorching mix of molten rock, minerals, and gases that emanate from the Earth's mantle, the layer beneath the Earth's crust. This magma is crucial in shaping our volcanic eruptions. When the pressure from the gases within the magma becomes too great, it forces its way up the main vent, leading to an eruption. The type of eruption can depend on the magma's composition, but we'll dive into that later. So, there you have it. The inside of a volcano is a bustling place, with magma simmering and pressure building until it all bursts out in a spectacular display. Now that we've peeked inside a volcano, let's find out why they erupt. Volcanoes don't just erupt out of the blue, there's a whole lot of science behind it. Picture this, you're at a party, and you're blowing up balloons. You keep on blowing and blowing until pop, the balloon bursts. That's pretty much what happens inside a volcano. Let's dive a little deeper. The Earth is like a giant sandwich with layers of different stuff. The topmost layer where we live is called the crust. Underneath that is a super hot gooey layer called the mantle. Now there's a lot going on in the mantle. Here, rocks melt into a thick, molten substance known as magma. When enough magma builds up under the Earth's crust, 
It's a lot like when you've puffed too much air into that balloon. The pressure becomes too much to handle. But wait, there's more. Magma is filled with gases, kind of like a fizzy drink. As magma rises towards the surface, these gases get all excited and start to bubble out, just like when you shake a can of soda and then open it. Boom! The pressure from these gases can push the magma out of the volcano in an eruption. Now imagine you're cooking a pot of soup. If you keep the lid on tight and let it boil, what happens? That's right, it bubbles over. This is similar to what happens in a volcanic eruption. When the pressure from the gas and magma gets too high, it needs to escape. And it does so through the weakest point, which is usually the volcano's vent. So, in a nutshell, volcanoes erupt because of the pressure buildup from the magma and gases inside them. It's all about balance, you see. When the pressure under the ground gets too high, Mother Nature steps in and says, let's let off some steam. So that's why volcanoes erupt. But did you know not all eruptions are the same? Just like we have different types of fireworks, volcanoes too have different types of eruptions. Let's dive into the world of volcanic explosions. Picture this, a fiery mountain belching out red-hot lava, massive amounts of ash, and scorching gases. That's what we call an explosive eruption. It's the most dramatic and destructive kind. The infamous Mount Vesuvius that wiped out the city of Pompeii? That was an explosive eruption. Now let's take the heat down a notch. Imagine a volcano gently oozing out lava, like a slow-moving river of molten rock. This is a Hawaiian eruption, named after the volcanoes of Hawaii where it's most commonly observed. It's less explosive, but don't be fooled. The lava can still cause considerable damage. But wait, there's more. Picture a volcano throwing out a mixture of hot gas and rocks, but no lava. This is known as a phreatomagmatic eruption, caused when water comes into contact with magma. It's like when you pour water into a pan of hot oil. It gets pretty wild, right? And finally, we have the Strombolian eruption, named after the Stromboli volcano in Italy. It's like nature's fireworks show, with bright, glowing blobs of lava being shot into the sky. So, there you have it. Four different types of volcanic eruptions. Explosive, Hawaiian, Fratomagmatic, and Strombolian. Each one unique, each one powerful, and each one a testament to the incredible force of nature that is a volcano. And while these eruptions might sound exciting, and they are from a safe distance, it's important to remember that they can also be extremely dangerous. They can cause damage to homes, harm wildlife, and even affect the Earth's climate. These eruptions, while fascinating, can have a significant impact on our world. So as we marvel at the power of volcanoes, let's also respect their potential for destruction and appreciate the scientists who study them to keep us safe. When a volcano erupts, it's not just about the fireworks, it can change landscapes and even climate. Imagine a peaceful mountain turning into a fiery beast, spewing ash and lava, altering everything around it. This transformation can affect the environment in a big way. For instance, the ash can blanket the land, enriching the soil for future plant growth. On the other hand, too much ash can smother plants, damaging or even destroying local ecosystems. And what about the animals and people living nearby? They might need to evacuate, finding new places to call home until it's safe to return. Some creatures, like the resilient tube worm, thrive near underwater volcanoes, proving life can adapt in the most extreme conditions. Then there's the global impact. Large eruptions can send volcanic gases high into the atmosphere, sometimes cooling the Earth's surface. So while they might be disruptive and dangerous, eruptions also play a crucial role in shaping our world. Volcanoes, with their fiery power, truly are a force to be reckoned with. So there you have it, the fiery mysteries of volcanoes unveiled, we've journeyed from their formation, dived deep into their structure, understood why they erupt, explored various types of eruptions, and assessed their effects. Here's a fascinating fact to remember. Did you know that the most active volcano on Earth is Kilauea in Hawaii? It's been erupting continuously since 1983. Remember the world is full of wonders waiting to be explored. So keep asking questions, stay curious, and keep learning. New videos every day. Subscribe to our channel.